This is my reaction to Glee Season 1, Episode 7, Throwdown. I'll be completely honest, it's been a while since I last watched Glee, so I don't really remember what happens. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna go in and I'll figure it out. <laughs> also, if you'd like full reactions to Glee and other shows that I react to, you can join my Patreon for only $5 a month. So yeah, let's go. Oh. How did this happen? I look like a crazy person. That's not me. Wow. I didn't know the vein on my neck could stick out like that. What happened? I've been going at it for a week, ever since the decongestant incident when Figgins brought Sue in to co-run the Glee Club. Oh, right, yes, so I remember. Ashamed of myself. I'm so elegant. <laughs> Regal. I am Ajax. Mighty Greek. I forgot how much I loved Sue. Could we maybe try something a little more black? I agree. We do an awful lot of show tunes. It's Glee <coughs> Club, not Crunk Club. Don't make me take you to the carpet. Fantastic. Thank you, Mercedes. I am going to create an environment that is so toxic. No one will want to be a part of that club. Now, <laughs> let's hug it out. Mm. <laughs> I'd rather not do that. <laughs> I don't see that happen. <laughs> this meeting doesn't end until I see your bodies touching. Ew. That's a technique I learned last week at my leadership seminar. Destroy you. I'm about to vomit down your back. <laughs> <laughs> well, if it makes a difference, it's a girl. Oh. Fabray, word on the street is that she's in trouble. Where did you hear that? Are you denying it? Yes. Because the same birdie told me your heartbroken Finn Hudson didn't choose you to carry his litter. When you hear your name called, cross over to my side of this black shiny thing. That's called a piano, <coughs> Sue. Santana! Wheels! Gay kid! Come on, move it! Asian! Wh Other Asian! <laughs> we got Aretha! And Shaft. See, Will, I don't want to participate in a group that ignores the needs of minorities. And the only time I've ever been to an OBGYN office was when I took Quinn and Finn for the 10-week ultrasound. You did? How's the baby? Fine. It's a girl. That's not the point. It was shit like, oh, shit. Well, what is the point? <laughs> My point is that I am the father of that baby. I need another pair. Oh, my God. Of what? What's wrong with the ones I already gave you? Okay. Uh, they still had the tag on them. Oh. I want Rachel Berry panties. Oh. If I could give you the world on a silver platter, would it even matter? You still be mad at me. Cause I'm gonna do me. You'll be mad at me. Go ahead and hate on me, hater. Cause I'm not afraid of what I got to pay for. You can hate on me. Sue, a lot of our readers are cheerleading today. I'm cutting you off. Is this a cover story? Yes. Okay. That's all your readers need to know. I'm all about empowerment. I empower my Cheerios to live in a state of constant fear by creating an environment of irrational, random terror. Speaking of which, Q! Here! Now! Where are my Cheerios? Coach Sylvester, they're not academically eligible. Mr. Schuster flunked them. Oh, she didn't kill him. I empower my Cheerios to be champions. Do they go on to college? I don't know. I don't care. <laughs> Should they learn Spanish? Sure, if they want to become dishwashers and gardeners. But if they God. want to be bankers. Huh. Say something! <laughs> oh, okay. So, Will is correct. You're wrong. Thank you. From now on, no free passes. That's it. There. See you in Glee Club, Sue. Don't Ooh. touch me. <laughs> oh no not the children oh my
What is this? Check it out. I came up with a name that I think would be good for the kid. Oh, God. How's your own test, Finn? Drizzle. Drizzle. Yeah, yeah, because you know how awesome it is when it's just drizzling outside, but it, it's not really raining, so it smells like rain, but you don't need an umbrella to go outside. Are you a moron? <laughs> we're not. You know, sometimes I wish you were a little more like Rachel. Damn. Really? Yeah, she cares about my feelings. She, she sticks up for me. She sticks up for both of us. You know that she gave that Jacob kid a pair of her underpants just to keep him from posting on his blog about you being pregnant? think she did that for me no i think she did that just to be a good teammate for that <laughs> guess she likes it i know some guys cheat on their wives or pregnant girlfriends just don't do it with her Ooh. all right finn and rachel come up here you're gonna take the leads oh, i love this song okay follow my lead don't wait for me <laughs> so much for togetherness guys oh. you guys really need to practice this <laughs> <laughs> Amazing guys, bullseye. Excuse me. Oh, yeah. What about us? You expect us to just sway back here like props? Say it for me again, word for word. What about us? You expect us to just sway oh. our props? Perfect. Then turn to the other two and say, I think Sue is right about him. He clearly doesn't like minorities. You think you are? Well, now you know how it felt for me to have my Cheerio snatched away. Oh. I can't do a song with three kids. Okay, this is outrageous. <laughs> what do you want? The fake. Uh... Baby. <laughs> oh, shit. Trail. We're about to have a smackdown. Ooh. I don't want to have a confrontation. Don't play stupid with me, Stubbles. I'm having Finn's baby, and you need to back off. I'm asking you as nicely as I possibly can. Leave him alone. You're right. I I I've helped you not because it's the right thing to do, but because I had romantic ulterior motives. But just so we're clear, you're the one who's cheating. Excuse Ooh. me? I have a good authority that you're Sue Sylvester's mole and you can deny it all you want. Oh, I that's true. true. I have no idea what you're talking. Because you obviously have a lot you need to express. Oh, you have no idea. Oh. Everybody take five. And we look forward to seeing yours as Get well. on with it! <laughs> Enough with the jibber-jabber. Sing something! Sue, you can't talk to kids that way. <laughs> Tell me how I'm supposed to breathe with no air. air. All right, that's it. Come on. Nope. We had our chance. Everybody up. We're leaving. I'm sorry. Is there a fire? No, and that's the point. There is no fire. You know... It's sad enough that my Sue's kids are living in squalor and probably on food stamps. My dad's a dentist. But for you to <laughs> drag them in here and bore them to death, I won't stand for it. Come on, kid. You've been pretty honest. So this led to their fight at the beginning. The so. You're rude, Sue. You have no class and you are a terrible teacher. I'll have you know I have my PhD. You got it <laughs> online, Sue. You are a failed performer, Will. You were good enough to make it in the real world. You're not even good enough to run this stupid little club that nobody cares about. Ooh. Time after time, Will, you fail. You spend every waking moment of your life figuring out ways to terrify children to try to make you feel better about yourself and the fact that you're probably going to spend the rest of your life alone. How dare you talk to me like that? Like don't you that. even stop. Don't you I don't know. Your... Yeah, this is Okay, yeah. Wow. Oh, that's him. <coughs> oh, hold on a sec. What? Oh. 
Is something wrong with him? Well, not exactly. This is really embarrassing, but it appears as if your boy is a girl. <gasps> oh, my God. Did something happen to his... <laughs> he never had one. He's a she. Must have misread the first sonogram. Sorry about that. Yeah, because if she's getting Quinn's baby, she had to change that up, too. But I still don't think he's going to go out well. I still don't know how they're going to do that switcheroo, but... Honey, I... So I decided to step down as co-head of Glee. Oh, no! Really? Yeah, it's not for me. It's too fruity. Can't <clears throat> stand the sight of kids getting emotional unless it's from physical exhaustion. Yeah, it did get pretty bad in there. Oh, yeah. I'd still like to stay on as consigliere, you know. Maybe you could show me your set lists before competitions. Just so I feel like I'm contributing. Mm. Cool. You know, I was a VJ for a couple of years. Not MTV, but still. Why do I feel like I'm about to fall through a trap door into a pit of fire? Because you are. Trust me. Or that Santana is Latina. Or that Quinn He's is... pregnant. Sorry, Q. It'll be all over the blogosphere by this afternoon. Now everybody knows. Including me. Oh, no. Do you have any idea how much pain you caused by running that story? Sue made me do it. This was a particularly interesting... Fine, today's round of locker checks. Are these your droopy white granny panties, Jacob? Are you an Eve who was born a Steve? Because if you are, I think there's a special school that would better address your needs. And I think that school is in Thailand. Rachel gave them to me so I wouldn't run the Quinn story. What Quinn story? Quinn oh. Fabray's pregnant. Not a chance. My head cheerleader was pregnant, jeopardizing the very future of my no. cheerios and thus my teaching tenure. I think she would have come to me. It's okay. Everything's gonna be okay. You're not alone. Together we stand. I'll be by your side. You know I'll take your hand. When it gets cold and it feels like the end, there's no place to go, you know I won't give in. I'll stay strong, cause you know I'm here for you, I'm here for you. There's nothing you can say, nothing you can do, there's no other way. That my reaction to Glee season one, episode seven, throat out. So Sue decided to try to get in with the minority Glee kids by trying to prove that Will doesn't like minorities. Um, and pretty much try to divide the Glee club um, to, you know, sabotage it. And it worked for a bit, um, but mainly just on Will. He pretty much just got mad and annoyed and he failed the cheerleaders. So then she got mad and like it was this whole war between them. But eventually Sue decided to step down. Um, which I'm sure she has a bigger plan. I'm sure she's not just, like, giving up or anything. Um, she also found out that Quinn is pregnant. Um, so, yeah, I feel like she's gonna end up kicking her off the team, because, obviously, I feel like cheerleading and stuff is, like, a lot of physical things, and being pregnant probably wouldn't help that. So, yeah, that's it.